How's it going guys and welcome back to the Running Shoe Geek channel. Today I'm giving you my shoe analysis of the recent Berlin Marathon. And what a race it was, Elliot Kipchoge smashing his own world record. But the only thing more iconic than this was his own waterman, who with passion and precision delivered Elliot his drinks between each water station. I guess not all heroes wear capes. But seriously, behind such an amazing performance is a really good sport crew, so well done team. Something quite cool is that the Berlin Marathon race medal has Kipchoge's face on it. So there's this picture of Kipchoge wearing Kipchoge. Quite the inception. In the women's race, Tigist Asefa ran a performance of a lifetime to come in at 2 hours, 15 minutes and 37 seconds, making her the third fastest marathoner of all time. She's now only slower than the two all-time greats that are Bridget Koskai and Paula Radcliffe. Interestingly, in the 2016 Olympic Games, she actually ran the 800m race. She's now transitioned to marathon and has an incredible range of talent, but interestingly is the only athlete to have ever broken both 2 minutes in the 800m and 2 hours and 20 minutes in the marathon. An incredible range of talent. Now, the question of the day is what were the elites wearing on race day? Well, on the men's side, third place finisher Taudu Abate donned a pair of leaning Fadon Elite 3 Ultras. Yep, I don't know that shoe either. But leaning is a huge brand in China known for developing outrageous footwear, especially on the lifestyle side. They were surprisingly quick to uh, develop a carbon plated shoe when Nike first released their Vaporfly, but pretty much are unknown as far as the international elite field goes. So this is a surprise addition to the podium. In second place on the men's side is Mark Courier, wearing a pair of Adidas Adidas Pro 3s, which is not a surprise feature by any means here, with Nike and Adidas typically dominating most road podiums. There's brands like Asics, Saucony and New Balance that certainly produce that top level product but don't necessarily have the athletes to wear them and achieve top level results. So tend to be underrepresented. But the Adios Pro 3 is a heavy hitter in this category and could very well be the top carbon plated shoe in the world. In first place is none other than the main man himself, Elliot Kipchoge. Luckily he didn't have the same shoe malfunction he had during the 2015 Berlin Marathon where he ran most of the race with his shoes insoles falling out, believe it or not. The man still managed to win the race. This year he wore the new Alphafly V2s, which is the update to the Alphaflies he wore during his unofficial sub 2 hour marathon achievement. Interestingly most runners seem to enjoy the V1 more and find it lighter and more bouncy. And this anecdote is supported by uh, running researcher Dustin Newbear's results. But V2 is clearly an amazing shoe and is now world record certified. A lot of elite athletes were also seen wearing the Vaporfly, which is arguably the most successful racing shoe ever made, or at least as far as elite results are concerned. The Vaporfly is the more aggressive brother to the Alphafly and specializes more for the 10K and 21. But when it comes to the marathon, it's still pretty much 50-50 as far as the selection goes um, from Alphafly to Vaporfly. And it's very much a preferential thing which way you go. In the women's race, it's an Adidas whitewash with all the women wearing the Adidas Pro. Except Tigas Desefo was wearing version 2 of the model. I recently did a shoe analysis of the recent UTMB trail races and you see far more variance when it comes to shoe selection. There's a wider uh, brand representation, the mix is more unpredictable. Whereas in road running it's very predictable. Although every now and then you'll see a model sneak in that you didn't sort of think would be uh, represented in the podium. Like we, what we saw in the men's podium with Li Ning being shown. I think what will be interesting is taking all runners who broke the 3 hour mark in the Berlin Marathon which is about 2,400 runners and analyzing what their shoe selection and what the mix is as we'll see far more variance and variety and also preferences which will be a truer reflection of the markets. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.